Welcome to Watch Guard's Daily Security Byte. I'm Corey Nockiner. Today's story is anti-Donald Trump radio hacking. To keep today's story light, I figured I'd share an interesting story that may not directly affect you, but you can still learn from. According to Ars Technica and a number of other media sources, over a dozen U.S. radio stations have been hijacked and forced to play an anti-Donald Trump song. I won't give you the title of the song since it's inappropriate for polite company, but it is definitely a song against Donald Trump. As it turns out, these hacks were made possible by an insecure Internet of Things device. All these radio stations had in common the fact that they used something called LPFM, which is a new type of uh, radio transmission that kind of is a lower FM radius than the typical uh, FM frequency. In any case, all of these stations used the similar type of LPFM transmitter that comes from the Barracks EX Streamer line of products. And this, of course, is just a device that actually decodes LPFM audio codecs. In any case, it turns out that this uh, product has a known issue that if you expose it to the internet, it's relatively easy for bad guys to brute force or gain the password to that device. And of course, this is what allowed attackers to actually take it over and force the radio station to play whatever music they wanted. Now, the fix for this kind of thing is pretty easy. You really shouldn't uh, expose these sorts of Internet of Things devices to the internet without some sort of additional policy to restrict access. For instance, even if you need remote management or remote access to this device, you can put firewall policies or VPN policies on it. On top of that, if you do expose anything to the internet, it better have a strong password. The company that actually releases this product recommends you use a full 24 character password. And in fact, at least one radio station admitted that they actually had this device connected to the internet without a password password at all, which is obviously totally insecure. Anyways, I just thought this was a pretty uh, fun story of internet pirates leveraging this flaw to play a prank on Donald Trump and probably Donald Trump supporters. Nonetheless, this is still very serious. This is very similar to many of the other Internet of Things related issues we've seen in the past. In fact, it's very similar to the flaws that allowed for the Mirai botnet. In any case, it's just a great story to remind you that it is kind of easy to protect many Internet of Things devices. There's lots of these devices that you simply should be putting behind a firewall. There's really no reason in many cases that you expose management interfaces to the internet. And if you have to do that, it is relatively easy to use firewall policies or VPN and authentication policies to restrict access to that management interface. And of course, you should always change your device's password and use a strong password. By the way, while I'm talking about Donald Trump, a few videos ago I talked about how he was supposed to sign a cybersecurity related executive order on Tuesday. The latest news there is he's delayed that order because he's still taking new ideas and wants to update it. I don't know whether that's good or bad. Hopefully none of these new ideas will be forced government encryption backdoors. In any case, we'll update you if anything interesting happens. That's it for today's news. Thanks for watching.